Hi guys, Dr. Lauren, one of the chiropractors here at Cal Mason Chiropractic. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about what plantar fasciitis is, what heel pain is, what it looks like, and how we're gonna to try to remedy this at home. So what is your plantar fascia to start with? Well, it's a band of connective tissue that connects your heel to your toes, help giving your arch support pulling up underneath, as well as aid in shock absorption when we're walking around. Now, what causes pain in this area or pain in the heel? So the exact cause is unknown. For everybody, it may be a little bit different. Uh, most studies push towards a repetitive strain type injury. That could be repetitive walking, poor footwear, standing for long periods of time. You may be more at risk if you have a job where you're standing on your feet too long, if you're someone that's wearing kind of worn out shoes, if you're someone that struggles with weight gain, any extra force on the heel could lead to, to trauma, to pain. Also poor biomechanics or walking habits have known to relate to injuries of the plantar fascia. So what does it look like? What does it feel like? Often people will complain about pain at the heel portion of their foot or just slightly inside here. Usually worse with weight bearing activities or first thing in the morning. You may also feel tension pull along the medial arch of the foot here. Remember, it's that ligament that's connecting the heel to the big toes here. You may also notice you're someone that has limited range of motion in their ankle to begin with, uh, especially in that dorsiflex motion where you're bringing your toes to your nose. We'll see this more often in patients that have chronic rolling of their ankles or sprains of the ankles where it just feels stiffer than normal. Reduced motion leads to overweight on other structures such as the plantar fascia. A quick and easy way to test this at home is simply pulling up on the big toe. This places extra tension on your plantar fascia, We're looking for pain at the base of that big toe or anywhere along the inside arch of the foot. You may also be someone that has altered foot mechanics to start with, so that being on the extremes, a very flat arch or pronated foot where you feel the ankle roll in, or subsequently someone whose arch has popped up quite high, both putting different demands on the foot. So how are we going to manage this at home before your appointment? Well, for one, stretching can go a long way. We're aiming at trying to stretch the calf here, that muscle on the back of the lower leg. Simple ways, propping your, your foot up on the edge of a wall, hanging out on the edge of a stair lip, popping up under your heels and then sinking back down, looking for a pull here, anywhere along the ankle. We can work on cross friction massage at the bottom of the, the arch here, whether it be with a frozen water bottle rolling back and forth, something like a tennis ball rubbing around there. You can even try putting a bit of lotion on the bottom of the foot, scraping with a spoon, breaking up those adhesions that are tightening things down. That can go a long way. Some patients report great success with things like orthotics, heel inserts, or even heel gel pads. Just something to take off the pressure from that ankle area. Lastly, let's walk through two quick rehab exercises in order to strengthen that inner arch and the inner muscles of the foot. First here, the towel crunch. I'm just pulling the small towel inwards towards my ankle using the toes only, ideally trying to minimize how much I'm lifting the foot up off the floor as I go. Once the towel crunched all the way, then I'm gonna pull it flat and repeat for a second time. Moving on, we have single leg balance. This of course can be done on a hard surface. The softer the surface, the more difficult it is, the more muscle engagement you'll see. As you can see here, my ankle and foot do wobble quite a bit as I need some work in that area. Now stay tuned for our next video where I walk you through taping with KT tape or spider tape for the bottom of that arch to help support and with pain management.